Here's what's new and improved with Wander version 1.12. In this update, a bunch of new things were added, some pretty helpful new additions, and a bunch of just generally fun, helpful, cool, great things for Wander. So let's go ahead and take a look at what was added in this build. So Wander originally started as a tool just for Adobe After Effects, and then we expanded it to work also in Adobe Premiere for a bunch of, you know, cool, helpful Keanu GIFs or whatever your project might need. And now in version 1.12, Wander is also also in Adobe Illustrator, which is a lot more helpful than you would think, and you can quickly add all kinds of, you know, SVGs, icons, pretty much anything you could search for, you can probably find in a couple different cool open source or royalty free libraries, add it quickly to your project, and we even added a cool ability where you can uh, find GIFs and actually add them also to Illustrator just by quickly finding the frame you like and clicking add, and you can get the frame. Uh, maybe that's cool for some kind of, uh, you know, wonderful, cool design. So that is one of the biggest new additions for uh, Wander. It's just that now it's in Illustrator as well as Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. Also new in this update is the random query button, which you can click just to have a random word entered into your search. And you can find all kinds of cool or just different kind of media, you know, using a random word. But overall, it's a fun way to explore the different libraries and maybe you can find something cool. Maybe you can find something helpful. Uh, but overall, it's a random word. One more quick note over on the videos. You can also hold command to unselect any of your media also in Wander in this update. So that's kind of handy. So if there's no results, you just do another random word and maybe you'll find a puppy or something even better. So you can also see here that we added a couple new libraries that you can explore and puppy is a great word to use. We added the tenor gifts library here so you can go ahead and check out all kinds of new uh, media sources that are gifts from a whole new library you can also check out the tenor stickers library if you wanted some transparent gifts to place into your project we'll place a couple puppies to really bring this whole scene together and maybe one more for good measure or you can go check out the new image library we added for free pick that has a bunch of kind of higher quality results that you might want to use. We have also added a bunch of new libraries over onto the SVG page and under the icons category, you're gonna see a bunch of new assets. I'm not gonna cover every new library, uh, but if you look around in here, there is a bunch of new stuff. So you'll also notice here, we have now tooltips added to a bunch of the hover overs for you know, buttons you might click, which is probably also a good thing, you know, tooltips, something we probably should have had in one of the earlier updates, but we never quite got around to it. Let's take a look at Adobe Premiere and specifically our Keanu fight sequence. So if we wanted to add more transparent, you know, Keanu gifts to our wonderful scene, we can go ahead and maybe check out the tenor stickers library. So when we find a piece of content that we want, we can add it to our timeline just like this for the basic uh, kind of media, or if we wanted to get a little fancier in this new version 1.12, now you also have the option to enable the nest sequence button. So when you add your Keanu gifts to your project, they're going to get added actually as a sequence. So you can go inside of the sequence and add even more Keanu gifts or whatever you needed to your project. Then back over in After Effects, we also added a new option to loop any of your videos. So if we were to look up some landscape footage to kind of put behind our our animals let's find something a little bit better here maybe the beach we can go ahead and add this to our timeline but the option we'll go ahead and make sure is enabled is loop so when we add it to our timeline it's just going to be added already with the expression and that way the video will just continue to loop and play uh, just a little bit handy if you ever need to put you know some svg animals on a video beach or if you'd like to maybe find some Keanu gifts, you could go over to your collection since we already added some nice uh, content. We could go and grab it. And if we want to maybe find it and remix the media for some reason, if it's not already perfect, we can go ahead and click this new button here to reveal the image in the finder. And just like that would be able to view our media. Or if you really didn't like the media and didn't want it in your collection anymore, you can also delete it from your history, which is another nice, you know, new feature we added in version 1.12, just to make collections a little easier to use. Uh, one more quick note, also on the menu, we have the new storage button, uh, which is just a dedicated 
screen to you know manage all of the different media you might have downloaded or even turn on the brand new option for relative import so you can save all of the files uh, that you add with Wander just directly into wherever you saved your project, uh, you know, a little easier media management. In general, this update basically just included a bunch of new UI kind of cleanup, some better ways to navigate the different interfaces and libraries, and basically a bunch of just better scaling options uh, for whatever application you're now using Wander in, whether that's uh, Adobe After Effects, Premiere, or now Adobe Illustrator as well. Hopefully Wander always is looking pretty nice and whatever your preferred kind of like scaling is and however you want to display your media results. Uh, we really worked on making this like very uh, flexible for sizing and obviously that's a very small scale, but you know, maybe we want something a little bit more normal uh, just so we can use, you know, the panel.